Maxim Vasilegrav and Alexander Grishuka here with us. And uh, what a game, actually, was. There were so many different variations. I don't know from where to start, perhaps. Yeah, OK, Night G2 is a novelty. The computer is laughing. Like, Black has 10 good ways, but also he has, like, 20 bad ways, yeah, so. Kony 2 is a novelty. I thought I will give it a try. And uh, okay, queen b6, I could not remember. M maybe it's already inaccurate. Uh, I could not remember. Actually, I spent whole morning and whole yesterday trying to remember all these things and still failed. Okay, and h4, I, I know for sure that h5, knight h5, just never good for black. Just я знаю, что h5 и конь h5 это просто никогда не хорошо для черных. Ни в какой позиции. В некоторых позициях работает что-то подобное. Может быть, не в этой позиции. Yeah, um, I mean, I didn't spend uh, two days trying to remember this line, but I, I did spend some time and yeah, I also failed to, to remember all details, but uh, yeah, I never thought it was that bad until it actually became so after G4. So, я не повторяла этот вариант, поэтому yeah, я не помню, как играть. Я думал, что я сделаю два раза, может быть, не так плохо. Я не If you see some variations, it was Nipomnesi and, and Karwana who were analyzing a bit. Yeah. Mm. So anyway, uh, but yeah, just Queen F4 and I... Yeah, maybe. Yeah. No, but it's overwhelming. Also, yeah. yeah, I just don't have... Because um, from F5, I, did, I thought I have Knight F4, but then I, I don't have, and I have to go Knight F6. Uh, G5, I don't have Knight E4. Because yeah, for just take and play queen e1, and, and that's some um, you always have queen h4, yeah. like d5, queen h4. Yes, yeah. just yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought you will play knight g4, but I don't know what to do. It's too bad, like rook f1, even. Yeah, rook f1, that's what I was going to play, but it's a bit, you know, worrying move for me. I don't know, then maybe f5, knight d5. Yeah, yeah always. No, oh, but I thought. Be it's должно быть абсолютно выгодно. Okay, uh, so first of all, I thought like here maybe knight g5 was a move. Yeah, but I always didn't like queen f2. That's why I played. Uh, yeah, G3. yeah, this was my plan. It's a bit like game Shirov Kasparov, if you remember in some Linares, Shirov was actually uh, came maybe the closest he ever came to beating Kasparov. He had huge attack, but somehow Kasparov jumped with Queen F2 and saved the game. Yeah. Party Sheriff Kasparov, Kasparov in the end of the game and saved the party. But I wasn't sure. Because, but of course, like, so what you did is very reasonable. So F6, Bishop F8. No, Knight G5 would be even worse because of Queen F2. But let me try. Instead of F5, take on H5 and Knight G3. Because it was always also extremely tempting for me. Yeah, I didn't think this would be so bad for me, but of course I could be wrong. Um, so what did I want? I think I wanted to take. Knight h5? Yes, and queen e3. Ah, I always get this screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I will try Queen H2. Okay, let's say... I'm not in the same way. No, but wait, wait. Knight F6 and Rook H1. I do have Queen H3. I think I have many moves, like even Rook C8. I can run. Okay. But Queen H3, yeah, just... No, first H3 will follow. So anyway... Okay, so this was very reasonable. So my, f yeah, I spent a lot of time. <laughs> but you have to play d5. Right? 
I can take on G3 first. Yeah, I mean, no, but the thing is, um, because I was calculating knight h5. But I think d4, yeah. Yeah, knight d5, rook d5, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I spent lots of time trying to figure out this position. But I don't know because I, uh, I, I wanted position. the option after e takes d5 to play rook takes c3, but of course it doesn't work. So. Yeah, it's so then, so I lost lots of time for no reason. So h5. Here, yeah. Queen Kramnik e2. was proposing g takes h6. Yeah, but this was not so clear, because after queen f6, h7, king h8, and now at first I thought this would win, but actually it loses, because I take with the rook. I have rook takes b2 at the end of the line. So and once my queen is on f5. Um, I mean, I have counterplay, so if you don't go ninety four, well, no, no, that's uh, that's very unclear. That's yeah, the last thing I was uh, yeah. wanting to play. So queen e two. So I f was thinking maybe rook h one. This was yes. So knight g five and maybe and maybe just take yeah. But there's knight g four. Uh, no, wait, no, no. Yeah, take take on d5. Oh, wait, oh, 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 oh. Here, uh, here. Yeah, knight g5, rook d5, and rook h5. This I wasn't sure. This I thought maybe would be winning, yeah, but I had, I had some sort of try. Well, actually, it's the same. Yeah, no, the same except no, because your rook also, is on h3. Is you have. Yeah, but also because you have the rook on h3, you can play rook b3 no, in those lines. You want to play... If I want to go like in the rook game. G4? Yeah, rook h3. Maybe or g6. g6, maybe g6. Yeah, take, take, queen e6, rook b3. So this would have been winning. Um, but there was... So after rook h1... There is some queen a6. I'm not sure... No, it's um, basically to spoil my setup. To, I have to play some, you know, Queen F3 or... Yeah, maybe. I don't remember because I was spending lots of time on this. And um, then Rook H3 came. Uh, so I wasn't... As a, yeah, after Rook H3, I don't know what... Yeah. Uh, so I didn't expect this. And yeah, I was... Miraculously finding this line after here after rook d4, it's probably already equal. Yeah, if not rook d4, I think I more or less it's made. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's not made. You can give them. Yeah, I could have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's, it's, it's no, uh, no, if I don't have to play queen d6, like I can play queen c6. But then king a2. This is exactly what I thought. Well, I thought even rook h5 on text, queen takes rook d1, rook takes. Yeah, but I thought king a2, rook d2, rook h5, just immediate. Pon takes? Queen takes. Queen ah. h5. Yeah. Maybe you can show. <laughs> yeah, no, but this simply. Yeah, let's not. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is quite hopeless, actually, because g6 is mm -hmm. always a threat. Um, so, anyway. We came to this position. Sasha, did you consider also uh, instead, later on after rook h5, so here rook h3, instead of rook, rook h5? Rook h3, yes, I saw, but I already was... Uh, here? Uh, okay, when you blunder two things in three moves, no, but I here, was afraid. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I consider rook h3, but I thought just queen Instead of taking on h5, sorry. Instead of, what? Instead of taking on h5, um, first you take, take and rook h5. Yes, yes, I, I considered take, yes. some move. Moving the rook with queen h5 yeah. next. I ah, yeah. I, I even considered, but... But I thought bishop g7 sometimes. Queen h5. Ah, queen h5 here, yeah, you have bishop a3 at the end, sorry. Um, so... No, I thought queen is. No, wait. Take. Queen takes. Bishop f5. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I thought you have queen e6. Yeah, but you're queen h5. Much. No, of course, but the thing is, the I thought same. I'm oh. winning more or less. I, I yeah. didn't see rook oh. d4. Yeah, if makes I sense. rook d4, of course, I yeah. play something else. No. Yeah, of course. Here, 
here I thought okay. Yeah. Also, like after Hokage okay, 3, don't I have, I think I have an idea. Uh, okay, just gonna go H4. Oh. So maybe Queen H5 now. No, Queen H5 or D4 I want. G6, ah yes. Yeah, this should be winning. Oh. With the pawn. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, G6 is, this wins. And why grow it? But anyway, yeah, in the game, so I get to play with d4 and cheer. Um, yeah, I mean, my first instinct was to go with h4. And here's, uh, well, I went, uh, I wanted rook g1, but rook e1 maybe was better. And rook c4, here I calculated all this. So rook c8, king h7, rook d8, bishop c5. And now rook d7, king g6, and I thought this is okay. Uh, but I thought I'm kind of playing for a draw. While well, in the game, I just thought I'm I'm already better. I missed queen b7 from afar. And after queen b7, it's suddenly very dangerous. I should just play a4 here. I think, uh, well, I'm probably on some sort of better side of a draw. You are? Oh, don't you? I mean, okay, I take. Yes, I take. Okay, even g6, then f7. Yes. Bishop b2. Oh, I should. Oh, wait. Yeah, bishop b2. Yeah, maybe. I mean, okay, it's nobody is on. The yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not on the better side. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, of course. Seven, seven queen, seven. Uh, but anyway, yeah, and then, uh, I mean, I just completely. Collapse, missed everything, and probably missed my last chance here to play bishop a3. I just didn't I think it made any difference, but it actually makes... No, it's actually the whole po point of position if black can get his king to b7 or not. Y yes. And here Важим it looks like he's in time. Uh, yeah, of course, no, I just... Um, Sasha, did you see this move, Bishop A3? Yes, that's why I usually go to smoke after 40 moves, and here I stayed to, you know, induce playing fast. Uh, yeah, that was my trick. Из-за того, что я видел отход, я даже не вышел покурить после 40-го Yeah, yeah, no, I... Yeah, I just... Uh, I just, after I missed Queen B7, I started, like... Panicking and uh, I but no take rook g4 and you have queen c6, which is very unpleasant, yeah. So, yeah, and then I just lost my mind. Maybe actually you found the sequence, but it had to be continued with bishop a6. Yeah, yeah. Maxim, did you see Bishop Basir after you made the move? Rook no, I mean, I knew, it was a, I knew it was an option, but I just thought it made no difference, and I, oh, okay. just I was... I knew that I had a but why did I not go? I mean, I... Yeah. I mean, it's pity, because, uh, of course, I found this, this Rook D4 trick, but, um, yeah, overall, I, I was, of course, in big trouble during most of the game, so... <laughs> so actually, uh, it's a bit strange situation, but both of you have 50% after this round, and how do you both estimate your chances now with three rounds to go? No. Of course, uh, it's microscopic, but as long as there are some theoretical chances, I will fight, yeah. Yeah, same. I mean, I will come back tomorrow, play, play some chess, and uh, whatever happens, happens. Александр, Максим, расскажите, как вы провели вчерашний выходной день? И, Александр, мы знаем, что у вас были проблемы небольшие с электричеством в отеле. Как это повлияло на ваш день? Александр и Максим, как вы провели день? И, Александр, я знаю, что у вас были проблемы с электричеством в отеле. Как это повлияло на ваш день? I cannot tell any exciting story. I just slept a lot and prepared a lot, and that's it. I can't tell you anything exciting. I just slept a lot and prepared a lot. 
Yeah, yeah. So I missed it and um, tried to, you know, be in good shape for for today's game and uh, and for the remainder of the tournament. Yeah, you played such an exciting game today, and actually, how it's still possible to enjoy chess when this kind of you know sportive element is so important in this tournament. I mean, not especially in this game, but let's say overall. No, but I don't know, look at some great players like Kasparov uh, when he needed a draw against Karpov in game 24 of their second match. He played one of the best uh, games of his life. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes it, it can help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This extra pressure. Yeah. yeah, and it's good anyway to play, uh, you know, according to your style. So, I mean, I don't mind. Um, you know, an ev an ev in a, an eventful game, like, so, of course, yeah, I was not on the good side of it today, but, I mean, I'm not going to stop playing uh, my chess, uh, that's, why, that's why I do it, um, because of um, the, the sporting pressure or whatever. Yeah. What can you say about the game of uh, the leader of the tournament, Jan Nepomnius, against Fabiano Caruana here today? Have you checked it? No, okay, what to say? He just uh, wanted to be super safe, more or less make a draw, and Caruana... Yeah, uh, almost got into trouble, yeah? Yes, okay. But... Uh, yeah, but it was strange, like, he uh, had a very easy way to... No, I mean, my point was that he didn't feel he needs to go all out yet. Yeah, yeah that there are still three rounds to go, and so on, yeah. yeah. Hey, Sasha, you're a very experienced player in the candidates tournament. I mean, these three last rounds, I mean, normally it's, of course, the most important part. Like, what is your prediction feeling in general? No, of course, yeah. <laughs> what we should expect. Favorite, uh, but still, things can happen. Uh, I have nothing to add, really. I yeah. mean, let's see. The fun, the fun just starts. Maxim? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like... I'll play the last three games, um, you know, up, hoping to play as best I can, uh, trying to win some games. I'm playing against Jan, of course, I will be black, but um, we'll see how it goes. Um, I mean, first tomorrow, then against Jan, then uh, last game or so. We'll see, like, I mean, I, I don't have any expectation to win. It, but there's still a theoretical chance, so I'll, I'll try it. Okay, thank you so much for your comments and all the best in the next rounds. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>